So why green drinks? I've been obsessed with finding the perfect green drink recipe for almost two years now. Green drinks are an amazing way to get all your vegetables, to get all your vitamins in one shot. You don't have to think about it too hard. You can make them in bulk. They're really simple and easy in order to create like, what do you call a, a nutritional insurance policy, if you will. And ultimately, I want to feel better, I want to perform at my highest levels, I want to have a lot of energy, and this is a great way to consistently get all the nutrients that my body needs, as well as all that fibrous green stuff without having to chew for hours and hours and hours, right? So I just break it down in a smoothie. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. What's happening? Welcome to Make More Marbles. My name is Brad Hart, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make my infamous green drink. I've linked this up a bunch of times in a bunch of different places on Evernote. You can get the recipe. Uh, today I want to actually show you how to do it. I've got my camera here set up, ready to show you exactly what I do to make this. And I've got a couple of little cucumbers set up in order to snack a little bit while I do it. All right, so there's six primary ingredients in this green drink. You've got kale, parsley, spinach, you've got cucumber, celery, and lemon. Those are your primary vegetable ingredients, right? And we're gonna make sure we wash everything thoroughly. You can also buy stuff pre-washed at the supermarket if you prefer, no problem. I try to go for the best possible produce I can get, organic, etc. That usually works out better for me in the long term. Got some nice spinach here. Spinach. We're gonna start with the kale and the spinach. So it's uh, two, it's a one part ratio on everything except for kale. You put double the amount of kale as everything else. Make sense? I'll go ahead and fill these up. I don't put too many of the stems in there, although the magic bullet can definitely handle the stems. And this should be enough. There's probably about two servings in each one of these, so this should be enough for about five, six days. This is the good kale. You just gotta peel all the goodness off. You know what's fun is I've been traveling around Spain and um, Portugal a lot the last few months, and it turns out that kale isn't really a thing in either of those countries. So, you know, if you're traveling, and you gotta sub something out, no problem. Or you gotta double up on spinach. Spinach is a pretty ubiquitous thing in most places. Okay, there's that. Spinach is number two. I'll put a little bit in now, and then a little more later. And then, once we're done with all these, move on to our, our good fats. Etc. Here's some parsley, just a little bit of a handful in each. It's about one part parsley. All the rest of that goodness in there. Okay. Next up, celery. about six stalks of celery. I ended up eating most of my cucumber earlier, so I had to grab another one. And since we're juicing, it doesn't really matter if you have the skin on the cucumber or not. Now we're gonna get our handy lemon juicer. You could also use a squeeze or anything else. Whatever helps you separate the juice and the seeds and the pulp 
and just take the juice is great. Now, these are like uh, relatively small lemons, so maybe I'll go with like seven or eight of them. Seven, let's do eight and that's too much. Okay, great. Really simple, we just split these guys in half and squeeze them on in there. We want to keep the proportions relatively similar as always. So, we've got eight lemons, 16 halves, three servings, let's call it five per, and then we'll squeeze the last one in all three. Five halves, rather. Okay. And I'll speed this up for your viewing pleasure. Awesome, so we've got our greens, all the base ingredients are in there. We're looking good there. I got more spinach I'm gonna fill up with later. Uh, now we're gonna move on to our fats. Do it. Okay. okay, first things first, we've got Udo's oil. It's a blend, it gives you all your omegas. It's got a lot of great stuff. It is created by Dr. Udo Erasmus, and I came to know this through Tony Robbins. Awesome stuff, we're gonna start with that. This is my ideal oil when I can find it. But they don't have it everywhere. And about a tablespoon or so of that. And then I would usually use MCT oil, which is just basically clarified coconut oil, but today we have actual coconut oil and not MCT oil, so I'm going to have to use that. What about a tablespoon of that as well? Maybe a little more generous with that. Because it's not as um, concentrated as the MCT. The thing with coconut and MCT is you really got to watch the dose, especially with MCT, because MCT like literally if you have more than, I would say start with like a teaspoon per serving, right? And then work your way up, maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half at the most because otherwise you're gonna start seeing the effects of too much MCT oil and it really acts as like a potent, um, well for lack of a better word, it's gonna make you shit a lot. So don't do it on the way to the airport. Learn that lesson the hard way. All right, I'm just gonna be, uh, since I've been traveling around the Mediterranean, I'm gonna throw a little olive oil in each. Super good for you, Hair's na hair, nails, skin, all that, just to round it out a bit, because why not? Great. So that covers that portion. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. All right, so I do a lot of different types of herbs and greens. Uh, I really, really, really enjoy a couple different things. I've got Tony Robbins greens here. I'll use athletic greens, I'll use amazing greens, etc. Um, these are all great. I recommend them highly, but take your pick. Honestly, some of them are more expensive than others. Uh, you know, sometimes you just use what you got on hand. Like today we have this one here. It's vegan, gluten free, dairy, all that good stuff. And allegedly it actually has some really great protein in it. You know, why not? It's got some good stuff. Let's give it a shot. And it's, what I really like about this is it has raw cacao. I would usually supplement raw cacao in this as well. Don't need to do that. Uh, and then finally, before I forget, you always want to put some salt in these. Because part of hydration, guys, is not just the waters you take in and the living, you know, uh, food that you take in, but it's also sodium. And the problem is that most people don't eat a lot of processed food, don't get enough sodium. So we had the, we kind of swung the pendulum too far in one direction, right? Where we're getting too much salt and people are having high blood pressure and all kinds of other problems. Now they're not getting enough salt and we're swinging the other way again. We're having more problems as a result. And people are feeling awful because they're doing a lot of really intense activity where they're running and sweating and maybe doing yoga. I had one client, for example, who was doing hot yoga every single day and wasn't getting any salt in his diet. And he was fucking miserable all the time. He felt terrible when he should have been feeling amazing. He had some salt and literally that fast, his body felt amazing afterwards. So if you're feeling tired, try a little bit of salt. It might be something you're missing. Next thing's next. Do two scoops of each. We've got two servings in here. I want to make sure we get enough greens powder. Okay. Excuse me. Greens powder. Cool. Come on, baby. Do a little less of this. I 
don't know how, how sweet you guys like things. You know, you can play around with the different amounts and textures. The herbs will give it a little bit of sweetness too. Uh, the lemons actually give it a nice tart feeling, which I really enjoy. All right, on to the herbs. I'm gonna put each of these into the drinks. I'm gonna show you what they are. I'm gonna put them over there so I don't do it twice. And we're gonna make a little assembly line going on. Sound good? Let's do it. All right. First things first, shizandra berry. Shizandra berries are great. They help you to clear out all your different meridians in Chinese medicine, if you know anything about that. They are also very tasty. These are organic, grown in the US, and you're gonna give a little bit of each in each one. They don't take a lot, they're very potent. Especially these are like six to one concentrate. By the way, shameless plug, I get all my herbs from Superman Herbs, based in California. My friend Alyssa, who we met through a client actually, I was recommended to, she sends me all kinds of awesome stuff, and usually it doubles up my orders and things like that. She's great, I love Alyssa. Thank you so much, Alyssa, you rock. Next up, Bacopa. Bacopa is a mushroom. Bacopa is a natural nootropic. You don't want to use a lot of Bacopa because you will be, not wired, but you don't need a lot. Let's just put it that way. It's a nice, calm, focused feeling, and it's not going to leave you with like a crazy caffeine hangover type of thing. It's just a very natural, clear thought process that goes on when you have a little bit of copa. I like to put it in my green drink. It's good for you. Next, cordyceps for energy. It allows ATP to naturally occur in your body. ATP is the fundamental building block of all energy inside the body and all cells. Uh, ATP comes from mitochondria, it stands for adenosine triphosphate. Yes, I was a biology major, but it's been many years, so if I forget any of the details, please forgive me. But essentially this allows you to create more ATP in a natural and healthy way, which gives you more energy. Simple as that. Cordyceps. Great stuff. Next. This is a post-workout blend. There's a lot of blends that um, Superman Herbs makes. It's got Suma, Morale, Shilajit, and Makuna. I actually supplement a little more Makuna later on. I'll tell you why. These are all great herbs for after you work out. This particular compound tastes like shit, so I don't use too much, but I use a little bit, and it's masked by all the other flavors. And again, you don't have to use any or all these herbs. These are just things I've kind of used over the years. Keep in mind guys, I've spent two years kind of perfecting this green drink. So it's gone through a lot of iterations. As my diet has changed, as my needs have changed, this is my favorite blend. This is Spartan formula. This one has Shizandra, Eulotheria, Rhodiola, and more cordyceps. So that's why I don't overdo it on the cordyceps. Uh, you can go a little heavier on this guy because there's a blend. But the, um, the actual dosages are listed on the package, so you can kind of adjust as you want. My recommendation with anything is to start small. The smallest noticeable effect, the minimum effective dose is what you should start with, and you work up from there. So if the minimum effective dose is half or a quarter of what they say on this package, use that, right? And work your way up. If you need more, you need more, but you can't add less. So you don't want to make a batch that's a little too strong for you, for whatever reason, people have different needs. Okay, next up got pine pollen. Pine pollen is great for men. It helps you regulate your testosterone and other hormones. It's really great stuff. It also tastes like shit. But luckily we have this nice concoction that we can get all our stuff in one shot, which is what I really like. So that's pine pollen. Okay, next up, lion's mane. This is one of my favorite herbs for cognitive performance. It's lion's mane, it's good for your brain, pretty much. And I am always psyched to put this in my, in my drinks. Cause you feel the effects on this for sure. It's really good for you. Okay, next thing's next.
Goji berry. Goji berry is a berry. Grows in the Himalayas. It's good stuff. It's sweet. It's, a, it's like a fruit basically, so it's very sweet. Um, and it gives you a nice little flavor as well as a lot of antioxidants and some other really great stuff as well. Some other ideas that you could put in here without adding too much sugar, because I'm trying to keep the sugar content low, are, um, you know, if you just like a little bit of sweetener, I would just go with like raw cacao and something along those lines. Goji berry's great, shizandra berry's great, just any kind of dry berry that doesn't have a ton of sugar in it, um, is great to put in. And then finally, mucuna, which I talked about a little bit. Mucuna is an amazing herb. It's an L-DOPA precursor, which in your body, if you know anything about chirality, one chemical has the exact mirror image as the other, and it may not be as effective. Thalidomide is a great example of this. You know, the, um, the one form of thalidomide, even though it looks exactly the same, has a very difficult, uh, different effect in the body. It's actually, one is a very great drug, and the other one is, um, it actually harms pregnant women. So like, you have to be really careful about, you know, which side you use. But this particular one, this L-DOPA, will help you, it's a precursor to dopamine in your brain. So more happy chemicals, dopamine and serotonin, are basically largely responsible for how much happiness you feel in your brain. So that's good stuff. Want more of that? Give us another one. And again, we can add more kale, more spinach to finish this up. We've got all the ingredients in now. So let's finish up the, uh, the process here. Let's get a little bit more spinach in. I'm gonna add water, just regular plain old water, up to about here, the fill line here. And then blend this down. And we're gonna have a nice green drink. Sometimes I just do a little more water actually, but essentially we've got all the things we need in here and we're gonna blend this all down. So my overhead footage cut out towards the end, but over uh, basically, essentially, what I did was I went ahead and added all the herbs. I put a little more spinach in and just these babies down, which you definitely caught on here. So now I'm gonna just cap these. I'm gonna add more to this one. Since they're all the same, you can kind of fill out the rest of them. And clean up's really easy with the magic bullet. I really like it. It's just Quick rinse, not a big deal at all. Fill up these two, so they're pretty close to full. To store them. Here's my serving for right now. Cheers. Mmm. Good stuff. This is Brad from Make More Marbles. And if you like videos like these, check out my website, makemoremarbles.com. I want you to like, subscribe, share this with anybody that you like. Please support the channel if you can. Uh, there's a link below where you can get the actual recipe, and I update it from time to time. It's an Evernote file. Let me know if you have any issues accessing it. And uh, if you pop me an email, you can get some really great stuff. So put your email in the box below or click the link through, grab the recipe. I'll send you a bunch more great stuff on productivity, etc. I'll see you around the blog. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day.